Welcome to King Says So, a channel that advocates for one Africa, one land, one Africa, one language, one Africa, one currency, one Africa, one army. I wish to witness Africans all around the world united as one in our lifetime. Enjoy. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy King King 053, Mr. Easy Imali and And we back at it again. I have changed the guest houses again. Uh, before I start, let me let me let me do my due diligence and greet you guys, South Africa. Thank you so much for always tuning in, guys. I know you guys are tuning in from everywhere, Cape Town, my Ikeng, Beggars Ford, Limpopo, um, Centurion, Midrand, um, um, Southgate, guys, everywhere in South Africa. Thank you so much for tuning in. Zimbabwe, I see you. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, Namibia, I see you guys. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, Swaziland, thank you for tuning in. Uh, who am I missing? Congo, Congo, thank you for tuning in, guys. I see you in the comment session. Uh, Nigerians, I see you guys in the comment session. I see you guys. Uh, obviously, I will always greet the, the three kings of of Africa. That is um, Burkina Faso, Niger, and Mali. Thank you so much for tuning in. The Bahamas are in the house. The UK is in the house. The US is in the house. Without going... Uh, too long on the greetings everyone who's here i appreciate you and for those who are new please you are at home um, your pan african podcast channel is here for you uh, anything that you have to know about uh, africanism and politics in africa so today i want to speak about the greatest president that south africa has ever had by the name of jacob zuma no i'm not speaking about uh uh, what you call Nelson Untata, Untata Nelson Madera. The greatest president in South Africa that we ever had is Jacob Zuma. The reason for that is that in his term, he created more millionaires, black millionaires than any other president. Some of you call it corruption. We call it progress. But what I want to speak about today is what Jacob Zuma did in his term by trying to introduce the nuclear deal in South Africa. South Africans went bananas, they went crazy when they had the one trillion, the one trillion um, tagline that came with nuclear. Remember in 2010 already, nuclear was introduced in South Africa. We have, I think, two power stations, nuclear stations. Um, one is in Cape Town. So, um, Jacob Zuma was right. Nucle nuclear was going to save South Africa from the low shedding and the ESCOM issue, the coal issue. But you guys did not want to hear anything because it was coming from Jacob Zuma. Remember, by that time, the media was doing such a great job of painting Jacob Zuma as a criminal. So immediately when South Africans had the one trillion tagline, they, they went crazy. But let's look at the numbers and break them down in this channel because we only work with facts. We only work with facts, not opinion, not feelings. In 2022, ESCOM debt was up to 440 billion rands. That is, that is almost half of what the country spends, the, the budget of the country. Half of it went to ESCOM. That's how much debt the ESCOM had. And we can only blame one person for that, that or oh, two people for that, Cyril Ramaphosa and um, Andre De Reda. I only said Johan Rupert, but we can blame Johan Rupert for anything. Andre De Reda, I've, I've, I, if I've said it a thousand times, I've said it a million times, has put South Africa on its knees. This is a man that came out and said, and said, ESCOM is losing 1 billion per day. It's been looted 1 billion per day, not per month, not per week, per day. So that's how much money that Andre De Rita thought was, was coming out. In 2022, February 2020, uh, I mean, in, on the 22nd of February 2023, the government put aside 
254 billion rand as debt relief for ESCOM. Look at how much we are spending. You guys did not want that 1 trillion for, uh, that Jacob Zuma wanted to assist you guys with. You, But we are spending so much, it's not even funny. From 2010, when I calculate uh, when, when nuclear was introduced, I mean, if we calculate how much we are spending, if we calculate how much we are spending at ESCOM, it's crazy. Let's just take this year, leave the other years. This year, the first four months of this year, January, February, March, and April, ESCOM has spent over 12 billion rand only on diesel. Only on diesel. Ladies and gentlemen, Jacob Zuma was right. We needed nuclear. Since Jacob Zuma has left, ESCOM has been spending millions every month for what? Security. Only security. They are, they are just, just millions of almost 35 million contracts and tenders getting out just for security in the power plants. The world is moving to nuclear. And I'm going to educate you guys because I know some of you, um, you, are, you don't know some of these things, but uh, uh, both solar and uh, wind energy is not working for us in South Africa. Because you, you clearly see it's not saving us in, 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 in low shading. You guys don't hear anything about solar and wind saving South Africa or saving coal. It's not, it's not doing that. The BRIC countries, the BRIC countries, South Africa is part of BRICS, okay? You guys know what BRICS is, right? Uh, Brazil, Russia, India, China, <clears throat> and South Africa, BRICS. They are using the uranium they are purchasing from South Africa to, to power their nuclear, power, uh, nuclear stations. I know you did not hear what I said. Let's go back to Niger. The reason why there is war in Niger, why France is fighting Niger, is because they were buying uh, uranium chip in Niger and using that uranium as a source of energy to generate electricity in France. Over 30% of France electricity is coming from the uranium they're getting from Niger. The poor, one of the poorest countries in, in, in Africa is supplying electricity to light up Paris, ladies and gentlemen. Now, when we come back in South Africa, South Africa is the top 10 supplier of uranium in the world. We are the top 10. Imagine what I'm saying to you guys. So who's buying our uranium? China. Who's buying our uranium? India. Who's buying our uranium? Brazil, they are buying that uranium. They don't want us to use it to generate electricity. That's why Russia said to, to Putin said to Zuma, why are you struggling with coal like this? Why are you guys struggling? Let's make a deal. Let's help you guys to build a nuclear power plant. Now tell me, if South African politicians are corrupt and you get electricity, do you really care? Be honest with yourself. Go in the comment section and tell me if corruption was there, but the streets were built, the, the, the universities were built, the, the, there is electricity, there is water, the, 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 the municipality services are done, would you care? The answer is no. You would not care. I'm not saying Jacob Zuma was an angel, but I'm saying when he tried to introduce uranium, nuclear power in South Africa, the way we, the media turned it down and used his bad image to make him even look worse, the cook just want to eat, everything everyone wants to eat, was wrong, ladies and gentlemen. We need to call Jacob Zuma as South Africa. You guys need to call Jacob Zuma because for me, Jacob Zuma is the best president. For you who saw Jacob Zuma as a criminal, need to call Jacob Zuma and apologize. I'm waiting. Apologize on the comment section. In fact, Jacob Zuma is watching my channel. 
apologize because history is showing us that we were wrong in judging that man Jacob Zuma. History is showing us. And history will show you guys that you are wrong also about Busisiwa Mkwaban. History will show you a public protector that got three clean audits. Clean audits. Just because of four or five cases, and on those cases being the Reserve Bank and Sierra, uh, Palapala, the CR7 campaign, you guys are saying Busisiwa Mkwaban is one of the worst public protectors and fit to do a job. You will regret it. I'm just waiting for them to appoint a new public protector so we can compare notes. But if we take Busisi Omkobane and Tulima Donzela, you will see that Busisi was 10 times better. They took Zuma to court. You remember that white lady that took Zuma to court? When Zuma was uh, trying, to, uh, trying to get parliament to sign this nuclear deal, there was a, a white woman mixed with some of these coconuts blacks who ran to parliament or not to court i think it was the supreme court and they, they 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 won the case and it was it was declared unlawful let me see if i can play a video right here let me see if i can play a video right here and i'll come back There are a number of organizations in this country that if you think that legal action is the only way to stop this corruption, that you will find partners, you know, in the Legal Resource Center, which helped us with the nuclear case, the Center for Environmental Rights also looks at things, there's Corruption Watch, there are lots of NGOs with a bunch of lawyers who can actually get on board. They may have the legal team, but you, they need the backup. They need you to actually go and look for facts and figures and bring it to them. So what we really need is active citizens. If you don't have to be some big organization, everybody can play a part. The whole country was mad at Jacob Zuma. Zuma is corrupt. One trillion. He's crazy. How can he think? Where is South Africa going to get this one trillion? One trillion looked like a lot of money. But today, we're spending a billion every day. Or, in fact, we're not spending it. According to your Johan Rupert that you guys employed, he's saying a billion is disappearing. He doesn't know where it's going. It's, it's been looted out of uh, ESCOM. He left ESCOM uh, 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 with the hopes that he has finished ESCOM and it will collapse to the, to the floor. And then after he left ESCOM, he moved overseas. He got a job in, in, in uh, the university of uh, one of the universities in the U.S. to teach about renewable energy. Imagine a person who have failed uh, ESCOM in South Africa, failed South Africans get a lecture job in the U.S. So who do you think paid him to write his book? Who do you think paid him to do the, uh, the, investi the private investigation without alerting the board members? Who do you think paid uh, Andre Darita? History will show you guys, because you, you guys like waking up late. It's like when someone dies, only now you realize how, how valuable that person. Unfortunately, Jacob Zuma, it's going to take for him to die for the, the true story of Jacob Zuma to be told. And this same media that is uh, uh, painting him as a criminal and everything, you will see how many beautiful stories they will have about Jacob Zuma when he dies. You will see, they will, they will start pointing out the things that he did that you guys see every day but ignore. The universities that he built, the black billionaires and millionaires that he created, the, 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 the improvements that South Africa was in, the state of the economy and everything. Look at how much you guys are spending on, on petrol, electricity, the, the, the standard of living today. You guys can't afford 
anything. But you keep on saying Cyril is better than Jacob Zuma. I don't know what to say to you guys. South Africa needs nuclear. Why? Because we have uranium as a mineral in our land. We are not going to go outsource uranium from anywhere. It will be the cheapest form. Yes, it will be expensive in the beginning, but electricity will be an old thing. You guys will be paying maybe five rand per unit. You will be enjoying, you're enjoying electricity like nobody's business. It will be cheap. It will be two rand fifty per unit. You guys will be buying fifty rand electricity. It will be lasting you the whole day, the whole month. I mean. Because we can produce electricity via nuclear here in South Africa. That's all I wanted to say. That's all I wanted to say. Tomorrow I'm driving to um, Springbok. Whew, I'm driving, guys. It's not even fun. I'm driving. I'm driving. I'm driving. I'm driving. Working around. I, I was working at a nature reserve. Right now I'm at a place called Kalfinia. Working at Oris Kloof Nature Reserve. Um, beautiful scenes there. I'll see if I can post a video here. Uh, just to show off the beat, the beauty, the beauty of ne Northern Cape. Uh, I missed the flower season by a few days, uh, but you know, each up, each up. We are here uh, doing what we we need to do. So um, Springbok tomorrow, and I'll be there for uh, some few days there. Not a few days, more than a week. So I uh, just wanted to 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 give you guys this that really. What we did to Jacob Zuma was wrong, guys. We have to admit it on the comment session. We have to say, really, we were wrong judging Jacob Zuma the way we judged him. It was wrong. It was wrong. Um, he was right. And uh, nuclear could have saved us. That one trillion, it was not a trillion that the government was supposed to take out once off. It was going to come in trenches. And those trenches, you guys are spending it on, on diesel. On diesel. On the, now you're spending it on diesel. You don't even see a problem. Because why? Cyril Ramaphosa is a darling. Jacob Zuma was corrupt with the Guptas. Today we see that was not true. Because at least the Guptas and um, uh, 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 what is it? Brian Mulefe and Jacob Zuma kept the lights on. That is what is important. To, to some of us, we want the lights to be on. Don't care if you are taking money in the background. Keep the lights on. They can't keep the lights on. It's your boy, King053, Mr. Easy Imale Neng Neng. Till we meet next time. Um, I want to thank all of you who was on the live chat yesterday. Every Thursday, 9 o'clock, we're going live. So next week, Thursday, please don't miss it. Uh, don't miss out. Um, thank you for the donation. The super, the super thank you. There's a heart with a dollar sign on it. Thank you for those who've been donating on the channel. I appreciate it so much immensely, guys. You guys, I'm, uh, look, you guys are the best. But the best thing that you can do for me is push the African agenda, support black business, support a black brother and sister, um, speak to the younger generation, tell them, make them aware about their culture, make them aware about their tradition and heritage. J just keep on spreading this pan-Africanist spirit everywhere you go, you know, ask questions, uh, uh, you know, ask your colleagues questions, how many African countries are there, how many African countries speak French, how many African countries were colonized by the, by the, by the UK, the, 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 uh, those who speak English like South Africa, and all of that, like, play quizzes with it, and just, you know, just have fun with educating, read books, um, listen to videos such as this, so that you can educate yourself. It's your boy King053. Until we meet next time, don't forget to pray. And just know that your boy King053, Mr. Easy Malini salutes you. Until we meet next time. Up. Thank you for tuning in. If you enjoyed the content, leave your thoughts on the comment section and hit the like and subscribe button and we will meet on the next one.